this is what my hair looks like when it's straightened and curled. <laughs> Do you like your hair straightened or curly? Both. Good answer. <laughs> All right, so in case you're wondering how we're going to keep um, Taylor's hair straight for the rest of the school week, we did pin curls. So all you need for pin curls... For this pin curl technique, the simple way to describe it is using your fingers as the plate of a curling iron. So you're going to put the hair in between your fingers and you're just going to twirl your fingers around one another. And at the same time, you have to make sure that you are curling the hair in a circular motion. Another key point to this technique is to make sure the ends of the hair stay in the middle. They should not be on the outside of the pin curl. It should definitely stay in the middle so it can lay flat and make sure that you have a curl in the morning. Once you have it curled to the root or the scalp of your hair, you're going to flip it around so it's really tight at the root area. You don't want it to be loose there. You also want that to be curled as well. And then you just secure it with a bobby pin. And you just repeat these steps on every strand. I also think it's important to use a hair balm on the hair. It's more like a grease type of, like an old school grease type of a feel to it. Or you can use a styling foam as long as you have enough time to let it dry overnight. Taylor, do you want to talk about that bonnet? Who's on there? Um, it's like a frozen bonnet. You might be familiar with this. It will help her hair stay nice and shiny, moisturized. So she's all ready for bed. All right. That's it. You're all done. <laughs> Going to bed. Ooh, that's a good turn. Hey, girls. Yes. It's a fun peak. <laughs> <laughs> and today, this is a really fun Because so we have pen curls, you need, these are the three, uh, I don't know how many you need, but you need your bobby pins and your bonnet. bonnet. And then just put, and, and if you see, see my mom, how she did it, she like, fold it and then like I don't know how else she did it but when I first looked at it I thought it was like bantu knots but they were pin curls and yours look really pretty and if you keep your hair straightened and you put them like this and you put body pin you can just put your bonnet on if you have a what like whatever, whatever you frozen they were frozen, frozen fever. No, For, there's only two frozens. But everybody, like this frozen fever, cause I never, we never see frozen fever. Yeah, but our favorite part. Well, we haven't seen the movie, but we see. do you remember when Elsa was singing that she sneezed? <laughs> Yeah, that was my favorite. And if you guys see Elsa, the queen with ice powers, and, oh. and Anna, that doesn't have no powers that she can't hear you. Um, Elsa is the queen, and I didn't get control Elsa. Bye, guys. I got to go to bed. Wait. I can't forget my bonnet. Well, it's my mom has it, so I'm going to go to bed, guys. Bye. So, curls, today this is a really go photo shoot. I just like it. But, and if you, have if it, you keep your hair 
straight and then you guys think the ready If you if you don't have no bonnet, your hair will be so curly again. So make sure you have your bonnet. is going to show you how to take your pen curls out. This is our morning hair routine. So first put oil on your fingers. Next to do your edges. Today we are. My mom is gonna be tell, um, making my hair ready for school. Next, you're going to take the pin curls out. Thank you for watching this video of doing um, my hair, and I'll see you guys next week in Toodles! To see more videos like this, go to essence.com. Bye, girls, I'm going to school.